welcome to this week's episode of Technical Tuesdays. Uh, this week we're going to talk about how to measure dominant duct leakage. So that's when you take your DM32 and then you reference it to the outdoors. So what you'll need is some kind of uh, hard metal tube to put on the end of your uh, plastic tubing. This comes in a variety of materials. You can get aluminum, stainless steel, brass. Um, I recommend staying away from aluminum since it gets uh, bent up pretty easily. But uh, this one's stainless steel. Uh, it's 1 8 inch diameter. You can get this at pretty much any hardware store. Uh, we also have stainless steel ones on our website at retrotech.com. Um, but that's basically all it is. And it's just so that you can open a door and shut this under it to reference the outdoors. So here, since we're testing a volume of space that we are inside, we're gonna use uh, the red port on the DM32 on channel A. And basically what we're doing is, we are uh, running the HVAC system. Ideally, we wanna let it run for about 10 to 15 minutes before we measure so that that system gets to steady state. And then we wanna make sure that all other fans are off. We don't want any exhaust fans on uh, or anything like that that's gonna manipulate pressure in the building. So once our system uh, has run long enough to get to the steady state, uh, we'll then just see how positive or negative the house is. Now, this test really shows us which side of the system uh, the majority of the leakage is on for systems that are outside of the building envelope. So if we are getting a reading that is positive, then that is telling us that there is more leakage on the return side than there is on the supply side. What's happening is outdoor air is getting pulled in through leaks on the return side and then distributed through the supply side, pressurizing the house. Now this also works the other way around. If we are getting a negative reading on our manometer, that's telling us that there's more leaks on the supply side. So what's happening is there's more air getting pulled in through the return side than there is being distributed uh, to the house from the supply side because of those losses coming out of the leaks on the supply side of the system. Now something to look out for, if you're getting a reading that's really close to zero, that doesn't necessarily mean that there's zero duct leakage. It could just mean that there, there is duct leakage, but the leakage is pretty much even on both sides. So to really determine uh, how much leakage there is in the system, you gotta use a duct tester to measure that. Now, whether the house is too positive or too negative, there's uh, downsides to both. Uh, however, where I live here in a more warm, humid climate, uh, a negative house is pretty bad because now we're just exaggerating any air leaks that we have through the building envelope. If that system is running and then drawing the house negative, then that's all kinds of hot human air coming in. It's adding more load to the house and making it more uncomfortable inside. The same is also bad in colder climates. Uh, cold, dry air is just getting sucked in even harder uh, for a house that's negative. Now the other way around, a house that's too positive is also uh, has a downside because all of that conditioned air that we're working to generate, whether if we're trying to heat it or cool it or dehumidify it or humidify it, whatever it is that we're doing to condition that air, uh, is just getting pushed out harder than it would otherwise because there's too much leakage on one side of the system. A couple of other things to look out for when you're doing this test, uh, there are three pressure drivers uh, that cause uh, leaks to occur in a building. There's mechanical drivers, uh, and then there's also wind and stack effect. So those are two other things that you can pick up uh, once you reference the outside and start measuring with your manometer. If your reading is just kind of bouncing around all over the place, going from positive to negative, uh, that probably means there's too much wind on it. Um, one thing you can do in that scenario uh, is to extend your time averaging. So on the DM32, you can go in there and uh, extend how often uh, it's taking an average, maybe to try to balance out those conditions a little bit. But uh, if it's a really blustery day, it may be difficult to really gain control over that. It might be uh, best just to wait till a different day to do that. But also with stack effect, especially if you have a day where there's a big delta T between inside and outside, you can pick up stack effect uh, because you're measuring at the bottom of the building envelope. So uh, on days like that, I recommend to take a reading uh, when the system is on and then when the system is off. Whatever you're getting with the system off, subtract that from what you're getting from when the system is on to help remove that stack effect to see what that dominant duct leakage is. That's been this episode of Technical Tuesday on dominant duct leakage. Catch us back here again next week and thanks for watching.